see you again. We said that this week we spend some time sort of having a look at the kind of thoughts that you have that mm -hmm. you find quite distressing. Mm -hmm. um, that'd be okay. Yeah. I was wondering if there's been any times this week where you have experienced any thoughts that you found upsetting. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Would you be able to tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was my mum. Okay. Um, so yesterday she came over and she was kind of just helping me, kind of just tidy up and clean up and what have you. Um, and she's in the kitchen kind of cleaning surfaces and just kind of moving things about and I could just hear her totting, you know, and just, oh, God. Yeah. And then she'd start on like, oh, God, you're not, you're not keeping this very clean and this isn't good enough mm -hmm. and, you know, when you're clean you should move things around because look at this, it's filthy behind here and just going on and on like that and... When the thoughts started. Okay. So, what thoughts actually popped into your head? Really bad ones. Okay. Really bad. Really bad thoughts. Yeah. yeah. Would you be able to tell me what went through your mind? Well, it kind of starts with just wanting to hurt her. Okay. You know, just. And when that thought yeah. popped into your head, did you have any images that went with it? I can, I can see it. Okay. You know, it's like a picture, like a movie in my mind. I can see what I'm going to do, and it's okay. really bad. I'm going to stab her. Okay. So you can see yourself stabbing her? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how does that, how does that make you feel? I feel like anxious now, you know, it makes me scared. Okay. Makes me feel bad. So these thoughts are really distressing yeah. to you. So when these thoughts are popping into your head or you can see these images, what sense do you make of it? What <laughs> but I'm evil. <laughs> but I'm a bad person. I'm clearly dangerous. So So having these kind of thoughts make you wonder whether you're dangerous yeah. or whether you're evil. Yeah. 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 Is there any other concerns that you might have because of these thoughts? Well, that I'm going to hurt someone. Okay. You know. So, you know, I'm, you know if, like I have the image in my mind about hurting my mum, but what if I then went and hurt like my son? Okay. You know, that's. It sounds like the, these these thoughts that you have and these images that they're, they're clearly very distressing yeah. for you. Yeah, um, really upsetting. So, what did you do to, to try and manage these thoughts, to try and cope with them? I just <laughs> I have to leave. Okay. I have to just lock myself away, you know, I can't be around people. I just need to be on my own. So you like, to... shut away. Yeah. In terms of what you said. Oh, yeah. 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 Is there anything else that you do to try, do you do anything to try and get rid of the thoughts? Well, just, you know, I can't think about that. Just try and stop so you're trying to block them out yeah. of your mind, trying yeah. to cut them off. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Just okay. like you know, don't think about that. I can't, I can't. That's just that's too bad. Not somewhere that you want to go. No, nah, I can't help okay. it. Okay. It sounds like so, when these thoughts pop into your head yeah. that are, are hurting somebody, yeah, and you have those images, that you wonder whether that actually means that you're an evil person or that you're dangerous in mm. some way and that you might actually act on them, those yeah. thoughts. Okay. Yeah. And have you ever acted on those thoughts before? Um, well, I have kind of, you know, shouted and got a bit, you know, in arguments and mm. things with people, so kind of get, getting close. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. And when these, these thoughts pop into your head, do you think that, other people might experience similar kind of thoughts. No. No. That's just me. It's just you? Yeah. 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 So we're not really sure sort of whether, have you, have you ever asked anybody whether they have similar kind of thoughts? No, no. I wouldn't know when I start. Okay. Or who to ask really. It's a bit... Would you be interested in finding out if other people have those kind of thoughts? How? Well, sometimes <clears throat> we can do surveys and ask people. Um, who? Ask who? Well, I tend to use 
people who I work with. So I might send an email around and, okay. and ask people if they might have had similar experiences to try and find out if it's if it's common and if other people have them and maybe sort of how they cope with these, these kind of things if, if they happen to them. Right. So it would be anonymous, so they wouldn't right. know that it was yeah. coming from you. Um, yeah. And you wouldn't necessarily know who was responding to the email, so oh, you okay. don't know these people either. So it right. would be sometimes helpful to get a sample and to see how common these experiences are. Yeah. Would you find that helpful? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think it's just me, so... Um, if it wasn't just you, how, how would that make you feel? What if other people have these thoughts yeah. as well? I guess kind of more normal. Okay. Maybe if other people have them, then maybe I'm. Maybe it's not that bad. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> so, what would what questions would you? particularly like to ask? How should we phrase things? Um, well, I guess it's, I'd like to know, do other people have, have thoughts about hurting people? Because that's, okay. that's, that's what my thoughts are about, okay. you know, like hurting other So people. if we ask people, so have you ever had any thoughts of hurting people? Yeah, yeah. And then, like, if if they did say yes, like, how many times? You know, how often okay. does that happen? Okay. So, how often does it happen for you? <sighs> Nearly every day. Okay. So it might be useful for us to get an idea of how often it might happen happen to other people. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so if I don't, if I don't have the contact. Don't, it doesn't happen often. Okay. Um, okay. But yeah. So, have you ever had any thoughts of hurting somebody else? Yeah. And if yes, how often yeah. do these thoughts occur? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds like the, the thoughts that you have of hurting your mum, they also happen in pictures, in yeah. images. Like a movie, you know, I can kind of see it happening. Mm. The stages. Would you be interested in finding out if if other people have images? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, how would you like to phrase that question? Um, I guess the same as the, the first same as the one, first one. Maybe put images where you put rather thoughts. than thoughts. Okay. So, have you ever had any thoughts of hurting others? Images. Sorry, images. Yeah. Of hurting others, and the same sort of if if they do, maybe sort of how how often or um, maybe um, like because when I get these thoughts or these images or, or kind of films or like in my head that it's obviously it's really scary and upsetting so so you might like to ask how it makes them feel yeah. how do they feel about them yeah to have them yeah. okay how does it make you feel mm -hmm. at the time mm -hmm. okay. so maybe so sort of leading on from that um do you think that other people would feel anxious about it if they're the same as mine yeah Oh yeah. yeah. And how anxious do you think it would make people feel? Um, I can only really say for me, it makes me really anxious, right. you know, like, like on the scales that we use, it's yeah. like 10 out of 10. Okay. Um, I guess it, I don't know whether other people have these thoughts. It's, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe asking them to like them scales that we use, maybe okay. using that. So maybe ask them if it makes them feel anxious and 
on that scale of one to ten, how anxious yeah. they would feel. Yeah. Okay. If you were, if they were to have these thoughts. Yeah. Okay. So if you were to have thoughts of harming others, would you feel anxious? Yeah. <clears throat> On a scale of one to ten. Yeah. Okay. Do you mentioned um, that having these thoughts mean that you you're evil in some way, or or dangerous, or mm. a bad person? Mm. I wonder sort of how other people might view that mm. if if they were having it. Yeah. Yeah. So ask them if we think it, if they think that they're a bad person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> but we don't know what people are going to say. So, if you were to have those kind of thoughts, yeah. would you think it made you a bad person? Yeah. Or would you think it would mean you were a bad person? Yeah. Okay. So, if you do people answer these to have things? Yeah, we usually have quite a good response of them. People not think it's weird. Well, people answer the questions, um, and I think because it's anonymous, uh, people can give honest answers. Oh, okay. you know, it allows them to. Oh, you mean to that we don't know who that yeah. they've answered it? Yeah. Ah, yeah. So if you were to have thoughts powering others, would it mean you were a bad person? Yeah. Okay. Is there any other questions that? you feel would be important to ask or that you'd, you'd like to find out? Um, I guess thinking about um, like so like I've like got angry um, and, and upset having these thoughts so and like I'm scared that I'm, I'm actually going to you know do it. Okay. Um, you know, so like we said before, like I have to kind of just get away and because mm -hmm. and, and, I'm scared of, of acting on them. So, I, you know, if other people did have thoughts like this, do they? What do they do? Okay. Okay. So, you know, did it, have they ever done it? Yeah. Do they? Yeah. So if, if they've had thoughts like that popping into the head, yeah. have they ever done it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, have you ever acted on thoughts to hurt people. Yeah. Okay. So we've got five questions there, mm -hmm. which sounds like it might be helpful for you to see how other people respond if they do have these thoughts. Yeah. But also some opinions about what people might think if they if they were to have these thoughts, so if they don't actually have them, what they were to have these yeah. thoughts. Um, it might take me a, a week okay. to get some results, so maybe we could come back and talk about it next week and I'll bring the results with me. Okay. Have you got any questions about what we've talked about today? or No. Okay.